Welcome to the CodeEpicenter.com tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to uh, properly co configure Yee web-based application. Uh, this is really, really important tutorial because uh, it is really important that you understand how uh, to configure Yee application and uh, by configuring it, you can actually influence how the application object is created and uh, and you you will have a basic and good understanding on the uh, Yee framework itself. So as in previous tutorial, uh, we explained uh, that the web application is configured inside uh, this web.php uh, configuration file. And basically the contents of this file is injected uh, to the object uh, called, uh, uh, called uh, object of the class ye web application as you can see we here we load uh, the content of the file inside the web.php and then we inject it to this object so uh, this is just object of the class uh, uh, ye web application so what how we are actually configuring uh, that object uh, using uh, the content of this file okay so if you check online uh, for documentation you will see that uh, ye web application is just a class it's just a class with a lot of uh, uh, with a lot of uh, public properties so if you search for ye web application application uh, you you see that uh, this is uh, this is a ye web application class and this class has a lot of uh, public properties right and uh, this is the list of all public properties uh, their types and uh, on the right side you can see uh, what is description of every property so let's go one by one in this uh, in this uh, web.php and let's try to understand what is happening here so uh, web.php is just returning us a big array so this is the alternative syntax for uh, creating an array inside this array we have array keys and array values array keys are just uh, the public properties of a ye web application object what that means uh, this is actually the public property of the ye web application if i check here you will see that uh, the, there is a public property called id it is a string and uh, this id uh, uniquely identifies this module okay so uh, on the left side I define the property and on the right side I assign a value to the property okay there is a public property called base path and here I define the value for the base path if I check on uh, in documentation there is a public property called base path so there is a public property called bootstrap and here I log uh, here I, uh, I, I, I assign uh, an array with uh, two uh, values inside. So what is a bootstrap? This is really important. Uh, bootstrapping process is just a process where your app application uh, environment uh, configures in order to handle the request. If you have uh, too many uh, entries here, that means that uh, bootstrap, component, uh, bootstrap uh, process uh, will take um, uh, more time that means uh, 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 that means your application will be much slower so try to keep um, bootstrapping process um, uh, try to not to 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 bootstrap too many components because bootstrapping process is executed per every request okay uh, name property uh, is uh, also exists here here it is, uh, it's a name property, it is a string and it's application name. So I define name property and here is the value that I, I assign to this property. So basically I can go, uh, we can go and uh, define uh, this for every, every single property and that way we are configuring application. Uh, okay, what is this components? Uh, so 
in, in the web application, there is a public property called components and it is an array. So as you can see components, it is an array and this array contains another, another uh, uh, entries, another areas. And these areas are just uh, uh, ye, uh, components. So uh, ye uh, contains uh, multiple components and every component um, does some specific kind of job, okay? For example, a request component uh, is there in order to handle a request. User component is there in all order to, um, to enable uh, users to log in and log out and so on and so on. And uh, all these other components can be again configured. So this user component has a public property called identity class and then I'm assigning value uh, to that property. Uh, user component has a public property called enable auto login and then I'm uh, saying yes, enable auto login and so on and so on. So you can, uh, this way you are configuring not only the application, but you are also configuring uh, application components. For example, the application has a public property called database and then uh, to this public property I'm assigning uh, a content of the file database which is actually database connection as we explained in my previous tutorial. But if you check again uh, online there is a public property called database and uh, it is uh, the database connection, right? Uh, that means that uh, this way we are just configuring uh, the whole Yi application. But uh, sometimes uh, some, some of uh, these uh, properties uh, has to be defined dynamically or sometimes you have to access them uh, and so on and so on. For example, Yi web application has a property called char set. Uh, which identifies uh, current char set used, uh, used in application. So here I can define a char set as, um, as uh, for example, in Germany is the A. And this char set can be used, for example, in a layout file or in a view file in order to change the char set of uh, my application. But uh, the question is how you can now access these values from controller, from view, from other module and so on and so on. So let us try actually to access and change these values. For example, uh, you want to implement your website in different, uh, in, in multiple languages and uh, dynamically you want to change uh, the language of application and user clicks on, uh, uh, on a, a select box for example for to change the uh, uh, German language. So inside your, uh, for example, control side controller, in, in, in this index action, you can say, okay, so the application, now we wanna access to a um, property called language is equal to German. And this way we changed the public property called language of the uh, application, uh, ye web application, right? Uh, but sometimes you want to access to uh, some information. For example, inside uh, here, uh, in, in the params public property, uh, you, you assigned uh, the content of the params uh, uh, of the params file and you have here just an array uh, with uh, array keys and array values and let's say I want to access this value so inside my site controller I can say okay e app then I want to access a, 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 a public property which is called params and this Params is just uh, an array uh, with the key my email. So I will say here my email and then I want to print this for example. And then if I run my application, you 
you see I access the value inside this uh, Potoms, uh, Potoms area. So this way you can really, really, really configure your uh, Yi uh, web application. Uh, I would like you to suggest uh, to, to, to see my previous tutorials uh, and uh, please subscribe to my channel in order to get notifications about uh, new videos that I will make about the tutorial uh, about the framework and I will go I will try to go as much as deep as I can so you really really master uh, the framework thank you for watching and uh, see you next time